I kind of want to avoid caves because I'm still considering that character. Wait, did I say this in here or in Oblivion? I don't know. But yeah, I was uh, considering to make a character just for adventures only. Like, uh, I don't know what class is gonna be, just any class, but he's uh, maybe a look. I don't know. Indiana Jones, kind of like a roguish, charismatic rogue or something, I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know what Indiana Jones would be like in medieval ages, but uh, yeah, uh, just going around, oh my, going around exploring everything, absolutely everything, pretty much mapping out Skyrim. Or I could do it with this character, since we already explored a bunch, so we just go... Yeah, I guess that would make sense, because this this map is already very explored. And with Skyrim... Like with Oblivion, I would need to create a new character since I don't know which caves I explored, which I didn't. But with Skyrim, it says like, I already been here, I already been here, I already been here, I already been there and there and there. Uh, I haven't been there. I haven't been there, but I have been there. I cleared that place. I didn't clear another place, so I can come back to it. Um, exit or why? Okay, this is my second fa uh, least favorite type of cave slash dungeon. My least favorite is Dwemer Ruins. My second least favorite are Fallen Ruins. Or Falmer Caves. Which are pretty much the same, well not the same thing, but they are connected to each other anyway, since in Dwemer Ruins there usually are Falmer. I don't know why, because Falmer are like old elves, right? Like some some elf class. Elf race. Elf elf. Whereas Dwemers are dwarves or robots created by dwarves. If 
Hopefully I'll enjoy Dwemer Ruins and Mormon because I've never been to any of them. Are there many? I think so. I know there's... I'm not gonna spoil that kind of thing, but... But uh, there is uh, something like... Uh, something in Peru. What? Who are you? Warmonger. Something important to do with, with Dwemers and... and and more of it. Whoa, this guy is tough, man. Let's paralyze him. I can't even see where I'm hitting. Poisons. It's not level 5, but... You're healing. This guy was tough. And he had like the best... Like, the, the poison that's better than my all of my combined that they use on him. It looks like a paralyzed one. Even that one, you know, paralyzes for 5 seconds, whereas 65 health and he dies, don't even need to paralyze him. I need to put a spell... Light. Or I could wield a torch, which would be more warrior-like. Well, actually, more warrior-like would be, I guess... Uh, having an adoring fan following you with the torch. Wow. Disabling his leg. That it? Yep. Shortcut, please. <laughs> yeah, being a warrior, you clear caves way faster, man. Pow, pow, when one's dead. I guess same with mage, although when I play mage, I still kind of. I'm sneaky, even though uh, sneak bonuses don't apply to mages, I still kind of feel like uh, being sneaky, being like a sneaky mage, is, like sneak is important for a mage because he or she is very vulnerable, one hit and they're dead, so you know you need to kind of find a good spot to shoot your lightning bolts from so nobody would reach you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah actually now now that I think about it I will I will map out the the the, the world of Skyrim the the I don't know region of Skyrim with this character since uh, since I already explored most of it anyway. And what I didn't explore, I will. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Yarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? That is true. Actually, yeah, let's go to another place. <clears throat> let's go here. <clears throat> let's do some dungeon crawling. Oh, look at that. Well, Thulum discovered. Ach, 
Ахтум, Ахтум. Ah, oh, man, I should play some Silent Storm. I was actually thinking of playing some horror game. Oh. Leave, stranger. Evil stirs in this place. I fear for the security of the very land if it should break free. What the evil do you we mean? stand at the tomb of Hednorak, who has been dead for many generations. I fear, however, that his return may be at hand. There must be a way to stop this. I have been holding him here. While he regains strength, however, I am fading. I will By destroy now, him. I can barely contain his power. Much less defeat him if he awakens. But with the help of a living champion, Me. I may be able to succeed. Did you know that you are talking to a dragonborn? You would do this? Three vessels in the tomb below hold the power to vanquish at Norak. Before anything else, we need those. Okay. Bring them to me. But be careful, mortal. They are guarded by Hifnorak's minions. What if... They will stop at nothing to see their master return. What if you are the, the guy, the evil guy, who needs... Yeah, dude, I bet you are the evil guy who needs those vessels to power himself up. I'll bring those vessels to you and then... You will become strong, and I will have to defeat you. It's like you've been waiting for me. Because you're too weak to do the job for yourself, or you can't because you're dead. But yeah, I was thinking of playing some horror mo uh, games. At first I was thinking of doing Amnesia. But I don't know, I don't, mm, that game is kind of... I don't know, I don't really like it. Um, then I was thinking of playing Obscure, I remember, oh man, I remember being terrified of playing that game when I was uh, younger. Uh, yeah, Obscure, uh, that, that would be pretty cool, I guess. And then, what else? Outlast again, it's kind of the same as... Well, not the same, but, but like I have the same feeling for it as I do for Amnesia. Um, I want like some old school game. Well, I, th I think Amnesia is pretty old school. I don't know when it was created. But uh, yeah, Obscure is one of the games I would like to play. Resident Evil... Maybe it's it's not really a horror; it's more of an action game. But the fourth one, I think the fourth one was pretty scary. And then I guess the third and like the, the other ones, the other ones are not scary in terms of you know the like, and all that. And uh, this, like, I don't know, call it, like, top, not top, but like, weird 3D. Yeah, the fourth one, even though it's not going to be scary now, it was a pretty scary game when I first played it when I was very young. And the fourth one was just a pure action. Well, mostly. No, no, not pure action, but more action ish. And then the sixth one I never played. Well, I played demo. And But yeah, the sixth one, again, Leon's campaign was pretty scary. You know, slept. They're kind of like the fourth game. Uh, Chris's campaign was just pure action, fighting zombies who can wield the gun. Like, come on, man. Um, and then the, the, the other one, I think, is it, uh, what's his name? Wesker, Wesker's son. I think he plays Wesker's son. 
that's that was a pretty cool one. It was kind of like the mix of both, where it's more it's lots of action, but you're like a badass, badass dude. Doing your thing, man. Um, and then there's the, the secret campaign. At least I read about it. If you play, I think if you complete all the campaigns, you unlock the campaign with the sneaky lady, Leon's love interest. I guess I don't know. I think she's like the love interest. Like, yeah, in, in the in the fourth game, she shows up all the time. But then she's kind of like Fiskers Spy or something I don't, I don't remember the story All I know is that Fisker is badass And it's very obvious that he pictured like he's gonna betray in the first game since the way he speaks and acts. Chill a sandwich. But yeah, there isn't you oh sound hill, yeah sound hill. I never played no wait, I played no, 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 I never played Silent Hill games. Have I played Silent Hill games? I remember the first game where you'd run around in this fog and these birds or some some winged creatures attack you. And I think like you're talking to someone, some, some chick and then she disappears or something or she's pregnant or I don't know. Um, but yeah, Silent Hill games, yeah, those seem scary, I want to play those. But they might not be, like the first ones might not be on PC, they might be on PlayStation 1 or 2 only. Same with Resident Evil. I know Resident Evil 3 Nemesis is on PC, uh, since I remember playing that. But the first ones, I think, I think with the first ones I only watched the Let's Plays. I know with Sand Hill 1 and 2 I watched Let's Plays. Resident Evil I might have watched Let's Plays also. Depending on, because I remember I wanted to, I wanted to play the both series, but uh, there were games that I couldn't play since I didn't have the consoles. Um, so I remember watching those games, like watching let's plays of those games, and playing the rest. Kind of like with Metal Gear Solid, what I want to do with Metal Gear Solid. I, I play the first game, I'll play the second game. I think the third... oh my goodness. I think the third game is only in PlayStation, so I can't play that. And then I know the fourth game is on PlayStation 3, so I can't play that either. And then the rest I can't play. Or I could borrow my friend's PlayStation, PlayStation 3 and play the fourth one and probably the third one since I think they might have remastered it or something like that, I don't know. But I wouldn't be able to record it, I don't think. I don't think he has like, you know, he doesn't record games or anything, so he doesn't have a capture card. Oh, the third one, I think I can play on Xbox, right? I don't know. Still, I don't have a capture card or anything. I don't know. It's magic. I didn't even finish the first game since it was so annoying. I did watch the rest. I did watch the rest on YouTube. It was, what, like 20 more minutes before finishing the game? Just couldn't be bothered to. We met Metal Gear, that's that's you know, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to see. Nothing else matters. First of all, let's unlock this. Two. 
powerful. Reminds me of uh, Saving Private Ryan sniper scene where uh, I think Queen Diesel is it Queen Diesel? The bald guy gets shot and he, he got shot first and then the sniper shot sound became like. Uh, and yet you could hear the, the shot afterwards, after he gets shot. So it's kind of the opposite here. Or actually it's the same. It's, it's the... Yeah, it's the same here. He, he shouted first. And then... Roda. Then you could hear Roda. Yeah, like he shouted now. Will we hear Roda? No. Oh yeah, we just heard it. You're gonna kill me, man. Why aren't you saying fools? I thought you can only shout. The first, like, you cannot skip a word, you can only shout either Fus, Fus Ro, or Fus Roda, not just Roda. What's this? Oh, the vessel, right, of course. Yeah. Just gonna drink it, or drink them, become all powerful, and then I'll have to beat him. 